All right, let's talk about some of the latest gaming news and leaks you probably missed. Let's start with Red Dead Redemption because it's literally the hottest thing right now. So suddenly Red Dead Redemption 1 got new ratings in South Korea, which is pretty unusual for an existing game. This leads to speculation that Rockstar Games is finally going to release a Red Dead Redemption remake or remaster, and people are already losing their minds over it. Is it true? Well, to be honest, we can't tell yet because Rockstar is focusing on Grand Theft Auto 6 so much that they actually stopped working on their other project so they could release it as quickly as possible. But at the end of the day, it's a big company, and everyone wants to play Red Dead Redemption 1 because it was only available for PlayStation 3. Back then, and maybe now, there's a glimpse of hope that it might be coming to PCs and the latest consoles. So I guess we have to wait before getting excited. Let's move on to the next one. And this one is damn important if you are a Nintendo fan because history repeats itself. We all know how Nintendo has shifted their entire focus to handhelds with the release of the Nintendo Switch. It was an important business decision because they knew that competing with Xbox and PlayStation could be a little dangerous and risky. So they basically shifted to handhelds and are almost dominating them. But rumors are such that Nintendo is eyeing a return to the proper console war with a brand new console. Does this mean they will stop making handhelds? Absolutely not. But they are going to make some powerful machines to test out the market. Again, this is just a rumor, but in my opinion it's pretty believable because, after all, Nintendo is an ambitious and smart company. They know that in the future, there will be strong competition for handhelds, so they should move a little bit ahead. The biggest strength of Nintendo has always been their catalog and exclusives, and if they play their cards right now, the sky is the limit. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section. Alright, this one is another bomb if it's true because we might have a release date for Silent Hill 2. Technically it's not a release date, but we have a general idea. So the thing is, James Sunderland voice actor Luke Roberts accidentally told a fan on Instagram that Silent Hill 2 will be released early next year. And before you all ask for screenshots, it is potentially deleted. Yeah, the source is weak, and it all could be fake. But at the same time, this could be true too. Silent Hill 2 will be released and has been hyped for a while now, so maybe the time is coming thankfully, and we will get to play it. Now let's talk about the big boy, Microsoft, or Xbox. So basically, they are just signing up more and more companies for Game Passes. Recently, they closed a deal with 11 studios on a long-term contract, so you're going to see games like this one of mine soon on Xbox Game Pass. I like how Xbox is going all out to make games the big thing in gaming. Their catalog is getting big, and the next possible step is easily raising the price because of money. If we are talking about Xbox, then why not address the rumors? The talks are such that Xbox is also planning to buy Sega and Bungie just to strengthen Game Pass again. I mean, this is extremely wild if you ask me. I know Microsoft has an unlimited supply of money, and they can buy whoever they want except Sony of course, but Sega under Microsoft. That would be absolutely crazy nonetheless. If you are now thinking that's enough Xbox bombs for today, we'll think again because Xbox is also planning to enter the mobile gaming market with a mobile Xbox Game Pass. They are even ready to buy Square Enix. Yes, Microsoft is truly ruthless. They know how big of a potential mobile gaming market it is, and with the right planning, they can dominate it. Mobile gaming is literally a continent to conquer if you ask me. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and witnessed the dominance of Xbox, and I trust this will only get more interesting. So hang on, and I'll see you next time. Take care.